The threshold cycle, or CT, is the PCR cycle number where an amplification curve crosses a signal threshold during real-time PCR. In real-time PCR, CT is used as a relative measure of the concentration of target in the reaction. In a 100% efficient PCR, the amplified product will double with each cycle. So the number of cycles required to reach the threshold depends on the starting concentration of the target. For example, a CT difference of 1 between two samples means that one sample had twice as much target as the other. The sample with the lower CT had more starting material. The difference in starting target concentration between two samples can be expressed as 2 raised to the power of the CT difference. A CT difference of 4 corresponds to 2 to the 4th power, or a 16-fold difference in the starting concentrations of target sequence. Many factors can influence CT. One of these factors is the reverse transcription step. One method to assess the quality of the RT reaction is to measure CT using different reverse transcriptases. The next generation RT has been shown to deliver a CT that is 1 to 2 lower than the CT provided by most commercially available reverse transcriptases. This means that you don't need as much input RNA for the RT reaction. At 1 CT less, you can use half as much starting RNA sample. The ability to start with less input RNA is critical, especially when working with RNA isolated from a single cell or from FFPE tissue samples. The new Superscript 4 RT is capable of reproducible cDNA synthesis from a wide range of RNA concentration, which makes it a superior choice for your RT-qPCR.